I don't want to bring up Infiltrator anymore, but you're making me have to, man. Dude, they need to pay me. They sent me a copy of uh, mul the multiband plugin a while back, and I was just like thinking, like, is that, uh, is that, your send is that the only thing you're sending me? That's. <clears throat> Is that the only thing you're sending me? You're just uh, sending me multiband X6? You think that's... You think that's sufficient? Huh? Huh? This is the Verso Orbit. Um, as soon as I saw this posted somewhere on a forum, I was like, I need this guitar. There's so many interesting things about it. This particular model is a baritone guitar, so instead of being tuned to E, it's a fourth down. But I've tuned it all up a second. Interesting. Semitone because I prefer being in C rather Obviously. than B, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah, because I'm super basic. It's just, just lower. It's kind of got, yeah. It's rich. I like it. And it's not in B. <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> the guitar body is a folded sheet of metal. It's just a single, nicely crafted sheet of metal, uh, powder coated. It is, it is nicely folded. The wildest thing I think about this guitar is that the pickups are freely movable because um, oh. pickups are magnets. Like, you need to have a pickup be a magnet. Looks like a bag, true. Yeah, let's check out the new Amiri uh, guitar, guys. Just oh. slide around. They're stuck onto the metal. And when you don't need to worry about affixing a pickup to a wooden guitar body, um, that means you have the opportunity to do some weird stuff. Like I could- What if we do an angle? That's not gonna make it sound like shit. Does that do anything? Well, this, the tone will be slightly different from low to high. Oh, so, oh. even. Wow, it's almost like you can do anything with it. Weird. But yeah, so for instance, just for anybody who doesn't know, like the placement of the pickup relative to the strings changes the tone. Like over here, it's a little more... It's almost like a microphone or something. Right and twangy. And if I just... Wait till you see him dance. Who, that guy? This guy? Wait till I see him dance? All right. Just slide this down here. Oh, it's like fuller. Yeah, that is a significant difference. Yeah, so you can have both of these positioned wherever you want and then blend between them with this knob. So here there's only going to be one of them. And then I can shift it so in the middle where there's a little bit of a detent in the knob, it's This this is a boring start to this video. Perfectly blended between both. Perfectly blended. And then if I shift it again over here, then it Yeah, this is just my yes man right here. This is my uh, honorary yes man. It's just the other one. Oh, you, you hear can, that? That you one's just, like you're, so you're on that one right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's filling in for uh, God. What's his name? He's filling in for Rob Scallop today. You can hear it. It's yeah. Significant. Yeah. But then also, you know, you could take one off. You could do volume swells. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> And then I guess the last thing that's interesting about this particular one is I got a mod where there's a switch that I can flip here, which changes it from blending between the two pickups to each pickup being output on either the tip or ring of a TRS cable. So I could have each pickup sent to like a split cable going to two different chains of effects or something like that. Oh. The other day I was doing a little pedal shootout because I've got different. I think he's just showing off a cool guitar. Is this an ad? I have no idea what this video is for. This is <laughs> Rob Scallon number two. Chorus effects. I was like, I don't need three different chorus effects. So I'll just do a little shootout and decide which one I want to keep. And then um, I just like them all for different reasons, <laughs> but also- So you just run them all? Having them all on at once was a really cool tone. This is one chorus. Synesthesia. There's like 30 effects in there, but I was right. comparing the chorus. And then this one, CB. I, you know, I'm just, I never understood Crocs, man. Like I see Crocs, I'm just like, Why are you doing that? Why are you making me look at this right now? And there's the Universal Audio one. Not Andrew, the other guy's Crocs. I saw this kid skating with Crocs at the, the skate park the other day and I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing here with Crocs? Like I'm sure those, yeah, those don't rip, but you also can't feel anything. Three choruses in a row, I was like, that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> so what you're saying is you set out to choose one of these pedals and get- Dude, oh my God, the, the gear this guy has, man. I've seen Ableton Push 3 there. I've seen Osmos Expressive E right there. Get rid of- I just saw, I'm pretty sure I saw an LA 2 a a minute ago. It's a shame that our view of Rob Scallon is currently Andrew Huang's mate. He's a great content creator in his own right. Yeah, I've never really watched his channel on its own. 
I haven't watched Andrew in a long time. Am I tripping or does he look different or is his hair just longer? If you want one solid chorus effect and you plug them all in together and the chorus effect you want is all three of them together. That is correct. Perfect. That is the very, um, that's the exact Andrew Huang outcome that we all should have been able to predict. Cool. Let's, let's a record click. a loop of that and just like make a little jam, make a little funk jam. Oh, you weren't kidding, dude. Cause like before we record this, I gotta I gotta get something in real quick. I gotta do some yo yo shit. Nothing wrong with dancing. I'm just I'm just kinda like um I'm just confused why he's doing this right now. Like it's like guy playing guitar by himself. Ooh, I gotta do some yo-yo sh to this. <laughs> okay, um, do we need another section or is this just gonna be the same chord progression with like chords and then with with low notes. That certainly feels to me like uh, like an intro and a verse, you know? You have that kind of going in. I feel like I've never, I never see Andrew by himself on the channel. You know what I mean? Like it's always somebody there. It's kind of odd. Except for the um, the baby audio video where he releases his plugin. Underneath something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, okay, let's get the drums because we could always just track more guitar later. Oh, let's also show the audience the guitar stand. It's just two pieces of wood and you slide this onto the pole because it is hollow. That's such minimalist. Is that a Swedish design? Uh, I think he's from Germany. Yeah. Not far away. I just got a fresh pair of pink drumsticks for this occasion. So yeah, we'll break them in. <laughs> This is nothing like my music making session last night. So you may remember in the last W, I think it was the last one, the last W and N, I did a, um, I did like a segment talking about this like AI thing where you can like use your voice or whatever to make instruments. I spent like 20 minutes last night trying to make a beat with like my voice turning it into different instruments. It was fucking awful, dude, because I didn't have any sort of reference. So I was just like you know, like doing the base of my mouth and shit like that is really bad. Like, I think it's the worst thing I've made in my whole life. It was bad. It was really bad. I might, I might post a video of it to my, um, for, uh, like Twitch subscribers and the Patreon people release it. It's not, it's never going on my main or second channel. If it's going anywhere, I want as few people to see it. I can beatbox. No, I can. The, the drums it turned it into was awful. It was really bad though. Like it was like the first time I didn't even think about saving the project file. Like I was just like close immediately. No, no thought, literal, no thought about it. Normally I'm like, well, maybe this might be useful. I'm like, no, no. Hey. Hey, they want you to do the thing. When we, as soon as we got into it, I expected you to kind of be doing like a tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's listen back. <laughs> uh, you started going when you got onto the ride. It yeah. sort of started to feel like a disco kind of like yeah. thing might. I don't know why, like nothing about this. No, not nothing, but something about this. Who is this random? I don't fucking know, dude. I guess he's Rob Scalp's cousin or something. It is just like not quite what I feel like it should be. And I don't know what it is. This is why it's better to do everything in the computer. <laughs> You know what I think I want to do then? I'll try. How much shit goes into him making a video, dude? I just saw a third person filming. And okay, that's I'll a stationary try. camera. Okay, so they got a stationary camera and someone filming. You, we'll, we'll turn this into like a. We talked about it. It's Acid V. Oh, it must have been a while ago. Creation. I'll try a few different drum parts. I know what that means. And we'll adjust it in post. But I do, yeah, I'll get some fills and I'll get just like, there's something about that simple like four on the floor that I feel like will work sometimes. And then also the hi hatty thing is good. So yeah, let's just do one more pass. This is how song oh, yeah, No, no, okay, no, there's at least, there's at least four people. We have confirmation now, there's at least four people. I saw, okay, I saw the cameraman moving. I saw another cameraman in the background. 
He's drinking moonshine. And then also, the funny. hi hatty thing is good. Then we got yeah. these two. Let's just do one more pass. This See, is right here. Okay, there's a cameraman right here. And there's another one right here. Who, that guy coincidentally looks like, um, Bad Gear. <laughs> okay. Bring in those moves, Marty. I'm thinking. <laughs> it's so like put on, it's great. I'm just collecting. Don't do my boy like that. This guy, I mean, there's nothing wrong with dancing. It's just like, it feels like a little forced, I guess. Like he was doing that dancing when it was just like the guitar riff, you know? I mean, maybe he's just memeing. Yeah. Orange Justice, that, that was actually a stolen dance though, you know? It was, uh, it's originally like a cyber goth dance or something, I think. Blocks type of situation. So I think we're just collecting raw material right now. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this guy dancing to the fucking straight up synth playing, just like the pads. You want to play some keys on this? Huh. What are we doing? F minor and E flat minor? F minor and D minor. I feel like you got more funky fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that going, I'll plug the bass in. Is this bass like too low for people? Are people going to be able to take bass this low? Are the people ready for a bass that goes this low? Do you know what you're going to play? Vaguely. Okay. Do you oh, know what you're figure something out? Hey, he's not bad. <laughs> Zoom in on the shoes. Like, look at this shit. You're like, can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit? Can you believe that? I think it just like they just like turn the cameraman just turns around. He's like, can you can you believe that shit? Can you believe that? Well, I'm pull myself out of focus here. A talk box or something. I maybe I maybe we'll polish that up later. Crusty so crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Focus. Yeah, we need like we could turn a robot a singing two lines. It's like pink, pink, something pink. It's uh, um, play that pink guitar. Oh wait, that's an Aerosmith song, right? Pink. We can't legally. Show. Oh, I like that edit, dude. Oh, that no, Pink Panther. That's not taken. Pink Panther. That's perfect. <laughs> Is it just a list of things? that would be trademarked if we put pink before them. What, what else is there? What other pink trademark names are there? Let's do some Google. He's really obsessed with pink. Googling. Pink Floyd. Yes. Pink Eye. Eye. Oh my God. I think that's what it is. I think it's like, I'll that's pretty funny. pitch my voice down and be like, you could be a panther. You could be an eye. As long as you're pink. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know how to make this lyric make sense. You could be a panther. Look me in the eye. And then I'm like rhyming with Panther and for no, you know, you could be a dancer. Answer. Answer, what's the answer? Pink is the answer. It's like, what's, it's doing something across the sky. What, it's like spread across the sky. Great gig in the sky. Yeah. The great gig in the sky, yeah. Cause that is Floyd, right? Okay, it'll be like a, a slightly more veiled reference, but let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, okay. You could be a Panther. Hey, busy. Look me in the eye. Thanks for the sub. Pink is the answer. Painted in the sky. Yeah. And that is just gonna be looped and vocoded and I love how much we're doing in post. <laughs> One thing I wanted to do is uh, I set aside all of my pink pedals. Cause I was like, how do I choose which pedals I'm gonna use today? Well, getting a, a splitter cable now. In theory, we'll have one pickup going to one output and one going to another. Oh, you know what, first? Yeah, forget about these for a second. I wanna do one. My daughter would love this guy's content. Or I don't know if she, I don't know if she's really into pink anymore, but she fucking loves pink. I don't know, lately she's been a little more into black and white because she's like into pandas. So I don't know. 
but she's like fascinated when guys wear pink like i have like these like slightly pink shoes she's like but that's a girl color i'm like yeah guys can wear whatever they want surprise they should drink pepto bismol you could drink pepto thing where it's uh i'll go into a stereo pedal and then we'll hear what it's like to have the different tones left and right yeah yeah come stand here it's it's weird it reminds me of a phaser but if it's not being modulated you could uh stack them vertically it reminds me of the blues clues hose pink used to be a guy color and blue is for girls that flipped around recently the right lower strings and one of them handles high strings like a that piano, would be like piano oh my gosh okay so neck pickup will be lower down imagine at the end of this video he just smashes the guitar oh man i wish man andrew's videos would be amazing if he did that it'll be like even off the guitar here i think to get the right you could probably have some overlap too whoa whoa that sounds pretty crazy this is that's pretty sick actually that's really weird i didn't expect that i yeah i was just like oh there's gonna be some on the left some on the right but to actually experience it is really cool and i feel like in headphones that might be interesting it's only getting easier to sell this guitar okay i still want to do that I are they selling this guitar oh my god they are selling this guitar what the hell is this link holy shit! this is the longest link i've ever seen i don't think it's an affiliate link though they are selling this guitar though i mean i don't know if it's him i don't know who's selling it but it is for sale hey busy hey thank you for the sub culprit no thing what, what did you have in mind like this <laughs> this would go how much is this it? way wait, does it say i don't know if it says okay wait, let's look it takes forever to load this for some reason looks weird so it's probably expensive yeah this is like the the himmaker schlimmer of guitars order now let's find out guys why is this website so slow two thousand Wait, I'm confused. What? Why is it 2.000, comma, zero, zero? That's really confusing. Why would you do it like this? Now they do a diff out there. Order and view. It's 2K is nothing for you. I, yeah, yeah, 2K is nothing for me. Yeah, you're. That is accurate. You know, I'm just gonna need like, uh, let's see, uh, three dollars a subscriber, uh, 600. I'm just gonna need like 650 subscribers, guys. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, 2,400. Okay, so I'm gonna need like 700 subscribers today, guys. And this I'll sell your car and buy it. Yeah. Uh, is this gonna be interesting to have a delay effect? Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Another effect. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to get us into pink pedal zone. They want you to do the thing. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Just clearing my throat. <laughs> Thanks, babe. And she's also sick. It's no, she's she's sick. She's not. Um, she doesn't sound like that from me making her do that so much. We were having food brought for him, moving up in the world. Cover this great thing where um, if you use a pitch shift pedal that adds a fifth. You can play almost any two notes and it just makes a beautiful chord for you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is actually what we need to get this. <laughs> that was a funny edit. Stereo thing going. Just just vibe it up, right? So these pedals are mono, but each of them has spaciness. So if I get the other cable going again. Oh, is this gonna reach though? We need one going in here and one going in here. We got it. There we go. With the effects on, we're now gonna have delay on the highs and verb on the lows. That's hard. Oh. That's hard. Sh okay, so let's track this. Dude, that's awesome. This is like way cooler than everything they recorded so far. Wow. 
that totally added to the vibe. I wonder if the last thing- That was awesome, dude. I think that was my favorite thing I've ever heard Andrew do. We need is just drums on this part. You know, you know, we're all idiots actually. He's casting a spell right now, dude. Oh, the Ableton wins again, guys. Okay, final thing of the day. Did you guys hear that I uh, put out a plug-in recently? <sighs> yeah, we did, Andrew. Yeah, we did. Use Infiltrator instead. Yeah. So... <laughs> This is transit, this is a plugin I designed. Oh, God damn it, dude, stop it, stop it, no. Baby audio, and initially it was about creating better song transitions, but then we discovered that- it, Dude, ugh, that's the only thing it's good for, man, come on. Stop trying to sell people on the random FX of it, dude. When you have a macro control that is doing all kinds of things on lots of different parameters at once, there's so many creative applications, so I wanted to play my guitar. No, you can show his own plugin, it's just like, you know, I've been beat to death by the advertisements of it already. I'm already, I'm dead already, okay? I'm on the ground, I'm knocked out. I already have it. Through it. Also, I saw a comment, I'm gonna track it down, we're gonna put it in this video. Thank you to whoever left this comment. Uh, they said they just picked up Transit, plugged their guitar in, and then hit the randomize button, and it's like a ton of fun, I imagine. You know what I hate about this plugin? It's making me have to shill Infiltrator. When I say shill, obviously, I'm fucking, I'm not being serious. I'm not, I have no affiliation with the company. I'm not doing it because they pay me. They don't pay me shit. So when I say shill, I don't literally mean shill, but there, he's making me have to promote Infiltrator just because it, it does what this plugin does, but better. Not for the transition portion of it, but for the random FX portion of it. Yeah, I don't want to bring up Infiltrator anymore, but you're making me have to, man. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa. That's a good one. It sort of sounds like it's in a space because of the spread, I guess. And there's the cool bit. They need to pay you. You're their biggest hype man. Dude, they need to pay me. They sent me a copy of uh, mul the multiband plugin a while back. And I was just like thinking like, is that, uh, is that, it you're send is that the only thing you're sending me? That's... <clears throat> is that the only thing you're sending me? You're just uh, sending me multiband X6? You think that's... You think that's sufficient? Huh? Huh? Weaver influenced me to buy Infiltrator as a meme. Like, I basically want to start censoring me talking about them. Like, I'm going to start calling it old reliable. And I'm just going to censor it with, like, maybe I'll take old reliable from, like, a SpongeBob episode or something. And then just every time I say Infiltrator, it's going to be old reliable. Crush. Like, noise happening. All right, let's hit it again. Yeah, I thought to put a bit crush on a little room reverb. Damn it, it's a good product. <laughs> Did you even do a video on X6? No. No, I did not. Wasn't really planning on it. All right. Well, I didn't see anything special about X6. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I saw that was kind of special, like, was uh, linear phase. But I'm pretty sure there's ultra other multi-band compressors that are linear phase, too. So we have. I don't like reviewing every plugin, and it's not because I only want to give positive reviews. It's because it's a lot of fucking work when I do. It's even more work than the WNM videos. Alright, let's hit it again. Especially the editing. The editing takes a lot. <laughs> do another. Yeah, you know. And I'll try the same thing, but with old reliable. I never think of fading between a bit crush and a tremolo, a pitch thing. Let's get one final like vibey sound and we'll add it to this, the song. Maybe the spacey part. That's fun. Changing auto pan rate is interesting. Uh, in the vibey part you want to do this? Yeah. Let's do it. Like I was just a hand in somebody sh in the shot right here. So much AI, none of it's really AI. Oh, 
like the vocals kind of ruin it a little bit for me. Beats hard though. <laughs> Had to do it to him. I agree, this is his best tune. I think this was better off without the vocals though. Not that the vocals like ruined it or anything, but like it kind of felt a little forced in there. Yeah, definitely super psychedelic, man. Really psychedelic stuff. Do you think he got paid for the guitar? Busy Works Beats thinks he should get paid for this.